G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and this is RFD Hobby. Uh, today I just wanted to share with you a new addition I've got for the workshop here. Uh, this comes straight off the back of all the support I've had over the last few months from the community. So I did want to say a big thank you and just show off what I've been able to do for the first week honing this. All right, guys, so traditionally I'm pretty low tech here on the channel. Uh, you can see uh, I've just managed to purchase myself this wonderful Elegoo Satin 8K. And obviously I've also got myself a wash and cure station as well here. And I have had a bit of a play with this over the past week. The most fun week I've had in a long time. So I've really enjoyed myself and I did want to share some of what I've been able to do this week with you. So uh, let's head over to the workbench and have a bit of a look. So now I was able to purchase this printer off the back of all the support I've received from the community. Uh, now I know there hasn't been a lot of updates on the channel recently. Unfortunately, I still am in limbo regarding my insurance for the house. So we're still waiting on that and uh, uh, as a result of that my situation is still very much up in the air. So, you know, it's very difficult for me to make too many big investments or uh, do too much at this stage until I know what my future holds. So anyway, regardless of all that, let's have a look at what I was able to achieve in the first week of printing. And this is the first uh, foray into it for me. I've never done anything like this before. I had very little knowledge coming into it as well. So just keep in mind that I'm not here to sort of be an expert on the topic or give you any sort of false sense of what to expect if you pick up one of these for yourself. All I want to do today is just kind of show you what happened with my experiences and really just kind of test if I was able to print out of the box with this uh, 3D printer not knowing really what I was doing. All right, now this is one of my very first prints, uh, if not the first print I think actually I did on the printer. Now this was straight out of the box with default settings and as you can see, Oh, it's just amazing. So good. Looks beautiful. I'm so stoked with this. Now, I'm not, you know, I've never experienced 3D printing before. These are pretty much the only 3D printed models I've had, I think, um, to be honest with you. So I'm not here to sort of suggest that, you know, I know how exactly good this is. You know, it, it looks fantastic to me. I'm stoked with it. So this was one of my first ones, uh, you know, and, and straight away I was getting just fantastic results and you know i'm stoked with it there's probably dialing in that can be done and tweaking to make this a little bit better and things like that but you know straight out of the box i was having fantastic success on default settings just using uh i believe this was just the elegoo uh water washable resin that i used here so the only real issue i was having at this point uh was the fact that i think i had it on a table that was a little bit you know, not quite as stable as it needs to be. And so I'm probably bumped it here. And there's a couple of models where you can kind of see this line here. And I think that's just a wobble that, you know, has happened when it's been exposing. And that's just because of me, you know, bumping the table at the time. And I've since moved it to a way more sturdy setup. A couple of little issues, like I said, with the bottom layers of the prints. So you can see here where it hasn't quite stuck together and, you know, but this was easy to diagnose. And apart from that, you know, the printouts were just, you know, just coming out amazing. Again, you can see here, this is where I've probably bumped the printer or the, the table. Um, now I was able to also print up a couple of little things for my daughter. So these little articulated things, uh, which I believe predominantly printed out on uh, FDM printers. I had no issue actually printing this off um, just straight on the print bed and it came off just like this. The only small problem I did have was, I don't know if you can see here, some of the feet broke off. So again, this is just my bottom layer exposures just being a little bit funky maybe. But like I said, I'm not an expert on um, dialing in 3D printers or even what to exactly look for as far as the fine details and diagnosing the issues I might be having. but. You can certainly print out these, uh, you know, there's these little calibration files you can get. Um, it's a good idea at some point, especially if you're having any issues or failures to sort of get your hands on these uh, or something similar and start sort of changing your settings and dialing it in. And you can, you know, there's, there's uh, places online where you can actually diagnose, um, you know, what's happening with your print. Uh, you know, by looking at this and, and sort of dialing settings from there. And it gives you a really good way to understand your printer and how to do it. Now, obviously, I didn't do that to begin with. This came after um, <laughs> when I felt like sort of trying to work out what's going on with my printer and how does it work and what are the settings do. I think this is from Archville and Games. Obviously, when you get a 3D printer, one of the first things you want to do is go and have a look on Patreon or my mini factory and uh, sign up to some of these creators and you know 
uh, purchase some of their STL files because I, oh man, I cannot fault the details that these guys are able to sculpt into these files. Um, you know, getting the most out of them is, is really up to you and your 3D printer and getting those settings right. Uh, again, I'm not sort of suggesting that this is the outcomes that you guys will have by, you know, picking one of these up and just printing it straight out of the box. But I think the assumption really is that it's a hard thing to do or, or that, you know, you're going to be working with lots of failed prints to get things dialed in and, you know, really get it set up and looking fantastic. But honestly, out of the box, I was getting just amazing stuff, you know, just really good. I had to dial in some of my bottom layers and, you know, a couple of things like that, but that was really simple. When you start printing out and looking at things, you can start diagnosing little issues, look them up, jump onto some support groups. And, you know, if you can't find the answer, generally they're really helpful people to sort of guide you in the right direction. For what I do, where I'm generally focused more on the painting and the building rather than the playing, being able to print my own miniatures, it just makes sense. So I want to say thank you everyone for supporting the channel and helping me to do this. Uh, again, I'm sorry that I haven't had a lot of big upgrades or big updates for the channel. It's been difficult the last few months just trying to you know wait for outcomes and and different things but anyway onwards and upwards uh, as you can see i've got some night haunt uh miniatures i've got in the background here that i'm actually kind of painting and basing at the moment i was considering doing some live streaming of that i'm not a painter by any means and you know i'm not really instructional in that sense when it comes to painting uh, there's definitely better channels you can look at but if you're interested in seeing me live stream and ramble on for, for a little while, just uh, leave a comment below and let me know and I might try and do that sometime in the future. Uh, I should hopefully have a new video out very soon and you know, I'm starting to work on some terrain pieces. It, it is just, it's just a little bit slow going still at the moment. But thank you for your support. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like it. Uh, take care and I'll see you in the next one.